welcome to my channel my name is Samantha Rizundu if you are new here and today I just have a few new things and then shot my stash stuff but you know me I just like to turn on the camera and put some makeup on and just have a little chat I got two lip products from Mecca one I got gifted um, Muna had a nice big chew out of it it's the new rose ink lip sculpt Amplifying lip color and I got the shade 16. I don't know which lip color I'm going to use, which product I'm going to use, but it's they're both a ready tone. Now I don't think that's mold. I think that's it should be fine. It's a new product. But it's kind of like a berry color, which is quite unique to me. It's not something I would typically typically pick out. It's buildable. It says it's buildable. And then I bought the Hourglass Phantom Volumizing Glossy Balm in the shade Slip. I haven't used this either, but it's really sheer. But the texture feels incredible. So we'll see how we go. We will see how we go. And then I got this blush. I've never bought, I don't really buy much Revlon. This is a Revlon blush. It's not new, but I, the color, Naughty Nude, looks incredible. I have swatched it, but I have not used it. And it's got like a sheen to it. It has a really nice formula. So I'm keen to try that. It feel, felt a little bit powdery, but it looks like it's gonna really blend down. And then is there anything else? Oh, and then just two other things. Barry M is, I think, leaving big w and they just had some clearance items uh, that caught my eye they were like three or four dollars um this is the fresh face cheek and lip tint i've never really used barry m i feel like i used a primer of theirs years ago that i liked um, i have actually tried this and it's really pretty so with this is a lip and cheek and then i got the euphoric metallic cream shadow you know me i love a good cream shadow i got the shade bewildered and it kind of looks like a Charlotte Tilbury. I actually bought the Charlotte Tilbury dupe in the texture. So I am interested to try this. I will swatch it. It has a, a moussey feel. It's very interesting. This one here. I just did the tiniest bit. So that's what we're going to play with today. I'm excited. I don't think Barry M is no longer... I just think it's no longer at Big W. Um, so I thought, you know what? I would like to try. So let's start with um, some Charlotte Tilbury Flaws Filter. I do have, um, I went and dropped Ivy at daycare and then I went to Bunning. So I have uh, sunscreen on. I have a little bit of brow gel and a little bit of concealer. Actually, I did put blush on, but it's pretty much gone. So I'm just gonna go over the top. I did like, basically nothing I just wanted to get that ghost appearance away which I think I did um, yes yeah, so I went to Bunnings and I'm trying a little area I don't know if any of you are into gardening I'm trying to get into it I, I've always been interested in it but being very overwhelmed about learning about it I think I might just use my hands um, because I've always rented and I live in a house with a big backyard and my actual landlord said that I can grow a garden. I have a little tiny patch, but I think I'm going to extend it. Like, I think it'll be fine. Like he's super chill. Our back backyard is not grass. It's just weeds anyway. So even if we left, I could just throw some lawn seeds over it before we leave. But that's going to be a long time away. We're not leaving anytime soon. So I thought... I'm going to extend it a bit and I'm going to try and do the no dig where you put the cardboard down and then the compost over the top. Um, you know, it's winter time now, so I think it's a good time to just try it. I'm going to trial a patch and see how it goes because I really struggle with weeds in my area. I'm going to use the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream in number 23. Uh, so I thought I might do that. So I went to Bunnings and bought a mixture of compost and soil because I just bought a little bit extra because you know when you're like, well, maybe you don't, but if you're gardening, you're like, go on to the next thing and then you go on to the next thing. I'm a bit like that. I'm a bit um, all over the place sometimes. 
And so I just bought some, not potting mix, but like vegetable garden soil, like suitable for vegetables. And when I say gardening, I mean a vegetable patch. I should have said that. And then I bought some co different composts as well. And then I bought some um, seed, seed soil, like, what do they call it? To help when you um, are trying to grow seedling, seedling, seedling. And I bought, um, actually my mum bought it for me not long ago, a little mini greenhouse. And it's been really helping because I've always really struggled with gardening. Like it doesn't come naturally to me. I don't know anyone that gardens, so I have no one to go to for advice. Just YouTube. And I found since having a little greenhouse, I'm I can see that I think I might have a have a chance. I keep killing everything, but I am researching. Found some good people on YouTube to follow. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to, you know go to the markets and sell produce, but I would like to have some in the garden. So right now I have Swedes. I'm gonna thin them out today. They're actually doing okay. So um, I'm trying to practice in winter time because there's only a few things you can grow in winter um, so that I have more experience come springtime because I wanna go. I wanna do it, but I wanna try this no dig first and see how I go. I'm, I'm sure it'll be good. Because right now I'm struggling with the weeds. I really am. Like I'm doing, I have like um, a mulch still. It's just, it's not enough. The weeds are too strong. So I'm really trying to learn about soil and soil health because I think that's where I was lacking in my knowledge. I don't know if I was out of focus for a long time there. Um, this is my Flower Beauty Light Illusion. So yeah, I am trying, because I know gardening is hard, so I'm not trying to be hard on myself because I don't have a natural green thumb. I want to, I want that. But I think it's gonna be something that I have to learn. And I love learning new things. I'm always doing something, I'm always learning a new activity, a new skill, I enjoy it. Keeps me going. And gives me something to think about other than caring for a family, which I am not complaining about. I'm very grateful to have a family, but caring for others full time, 24 hours a day, it, it has, it's, it takes its toll. So um, I like to have something that I can focus on for me. And I'm very much into the self-sufficient lifestyle. It's something I would love to be more into. I have dabbled. But it's really hard when you're meant to be like properly self-sufficient because you just can't really do things. Um, I'm gonna take the NARS translucent powder and crystal. I'm just gonna do a light dusting under my eyes, T-zone. So yeah, that's what I why I went to Bunnings. So just I basically got soil because I have seeds. Um, I actually have some cardboard under the house from when we moved that I'm gonna use. And I bought a really big tub, a 100 liter tub, to mix the soil and compost. I'm not gonna do 100% compost. And I just, um, yeah, I'm experimenting. Um, and we're gonna see how I go, because come springtime, I want to have a good bed for the seedlings to go into. And I wanna have an idea of what I'm doing. <laughs> I wanna understand healthy soil. So this might be a really boring topic for you because not everyone loves gardening. But um, I love making food from scratch. I love making my own bread. Um, I make pizza dough. I tried pasta for the first time. I like doing those kinds of things. I like knowing what I'm eating. Um, I love buying organic fruit and veg. I'm not 100% organic, I can't afford it, but I have a really good, um, what am I gonna do? I have a really good place. It takes me about half an hour to get there. It's where I, back where I used to live, an organic grocery store. And I always have a 50% off section, just on rotation. The vegetables and fruit, are perfectly fine. It lasts longer than Coles and Woolworths for and veg. But 
they need to get rid of it, right? And I'm the only, I swear to God, I'm the only one that goes there and I clear them out of their 50%. So their yogurts, their breads, anything that's 50% off, I clear it out. Their meat, I get fish and meat 50% off all organic. And it's all local produce. And so I'm basically, as what I'm saying, I'm really into that. So for blush, I have, I actually have two blushes. I don't think I'm going to use this today because I also have two lips. And I think I would like to do this in a lip and cheek moment. I might even do like a TikTok on it or something. Um, but I'm going to go, no, bronzer first. What am I doing? Bronzer. Okay, so I just went ahead and looking so glowy. And I did um, two products. I use the Emco Beauty Instant Contour Beauty Wand in light medium and the Highlighting Glow Beauty Wand in peach glow. Hence the glow. Um, <clears throat> I did that because I just made a little TikTok video of it. So I am going to be scandalous and put powder over the top very lightly and gently. <laughs> so this shade is Naughty Nude 006 from Revlon. And it's just called a powder blush. Nothing fancy. A lot, a lot of kick up. Whew. I think this will be all right over the top because it is so nude. Yeah, I think it's okay. It's almost like a bronzer. I've only, I haven't got a powder bronzer on. I was gonna use this, but I don't even think, I might use a little bit on my forehead but I don't think I need any here. I think this blush is sufficient actually. That's blush. I'm just using the blush as a bronzer. Okay. <laughs> I will dip in, cause I'm already so bronzy. I might dip in with this bronzy shade. Why not? Why not do a crazy dance? That's all right. Cause I've also got the Charlotte Tilbury Hall Hood flawless finish underneath. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit pearlescent. I'm a little bit tin man. Am I even blended? I don't even know. I just think there's a lot, a lot of bronze and shimmer going on. Yeah, I think I'll leave that there. I don't really have an opinion on this because I think I'll just add a little bit more. It's a very, a lot of kick up in the pan. I think this is just a really super, super nude, you don't want bronzer? You could use this as a bronzer blush hybrid for sure if you're fair. I think so. I feel like I could have gone without bronzer. Okay. Um, eyes. Let's do eyes. I might get a little bit of bronzer. The cooler shade. And just dust that over my eyes because we just got the one single shadow. And I'll probably just use my fingers because I don't have an eyeshadow brush. I forgot to get one. I could go get one. Let's see how we go. I'll start with the finger and then if I need a brush, I'll go get it. All right, so yes, this is the Barry M Euphoric Metallic Cream Eyeshadow in Bewildered. It's a very nice color. I'd be interested to see how this wears because I bought this for $4. I think it might have been maybe $8. Maybe it was like 50% off. I actually don't know. I just saw that it was $4 and I took it. But you can get Barry M at Priceline. I think it is limited though. There was more of a range at Big W. So if you are interested, they are on sale in a clearance. I bought this last week, but I think it just depends on your store as well. They had like a whole, what do you call that? Display. So it's usually uh, next to Astralis in Big W. I love Big W. I go to Big W more than Kmart and Target because it's my closest department. But I just, I like, I like Big W. They've got great kitchenware. They've got a party section and they have a technology section. Kmart does not have that. Very creamy. It actually feels super similar to Charlotte Tilbury in the consistency. I wanna say Charlotte is a little bit more silkier, but that's by a smidge. 
by a smidgy smidge. And I don't want to go heavy because I've got um, lipstick still. And that was easy with a finger and I like that. I like um, having makeup products if I want to be quick. What are those makeup products that I can use quickly? That's why I love the Charlotte Tilbury because if I, I don't want much, but I just want something, I just tap that over my lid and that's it. And this is giving me similar vibes. And I think Charlotte was, uh, the single shadow is like in the $40 range, isn't it? And this was $4. That's nice. I do feel if I had a brush, I would get a little bit more pigment. And I think there's potential for it to slip around. But I had foundation on my lids. I didn't set it. So that's my fault. I should have set my lids with a powder. But I didn't. With my fingers. But I think it looks really nice. I have done my brows already. So I'm just going to put some uh, Amco Beauty Extend Lash. But I like it. It's very nice. Very, very wearable. I feel like I'm too bronzy. <laughs> Whatevs. Okay, lips. I think I do want to use hourglass. I think I do. I'll leave this for another day. Another day. Um, okay, so yeah, I had got the shade Slip. There were so many beautiful shades. This is like a hybrid of like a lip gloss, lip balm. Felt so good, but this is my first time actually wearing it on my lips. This is another product that I wanted to like have in my bag because even when I wear no makeup, I like something on my lips. I've been wearing the Fenty Fussy Gloss. It's like barely anything, but it's just, it's just something, you know? Mmm. I love it. Does it build? I think it's a little bit buildable. Not much though. Mmm. That feels nice. Oh, I think there might be a bit of plumping in there. I can feel a bit of mintiness happening. Mmm. You know their lip glosses, how they have that minty... I feel like that's in this formula too. It's very lush on the lips. I think this is a very nice look. I built, I built that up, but it didn't get all weird and bunchy because it's quite sheer. All right, it's a quick one. I'm about to do another video of empties, so... Um, I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna bring all the soil back in from my car So that'll be fun with a full face of makeup. All right guys that completes the video Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye